the St. Lawrence Coaches Corner. My name is Megan Nichols, and joining me today is head women's soccer coach Sinead McSherry. Um, Sinead, thanks for joining us today. Um, I'll jump right in for you. Um, you guys have been in the swing of practice for about 10 days now. Um, can you tell me how everything's going and how everyone has adjusted to the life on campus? Uh, yeah, things are going good as well as can be. Um, everyone's excited to be back. We're, we're still in that honeymoon phase where folks are still excited to train. Um, partially because I've limited the soccer piece slightly. Um, but again, uh, I think they are just glad to be together as, as odd as it is in, in small groups. And, um, you know, they're really helping each other out, helping the first years and, and all of our seniors, there's 10 of them, they, they all wanted to be a part of it. So I think that again speaks about the journey that they want to endure with each other through these difficult times. Uh, what's something that your seniors have come together as like a common goal that they want to accomplish with no games? Since you have such a big group of 10. Yeah, I think the seniors just, you know, we, we talked a lot last year about, you know, the difference between, you know, leaving a legacy and, and creating a daily mission to um, focus on so that the legacy is just really an after effect of, of fulfilling that daily mission of just trying to be together. So I, I think most of them, you know, they love the game, they love the program, they love the team, they love their school. Uh, so I think for them, they just want to continue being a saint for another day at least and, and hope yeah. that we can keep that train going. Because obviously, you know, some schools have not been as lucky as us with the, just the amount of time we've been on campus and slowly, gradually getting back to a team training session is obviously the Awesome. Um, what have you had your small groups working on to get started? Um, and what are your hopes for when your full team can be back together again? Yeah, so our small groups, uh, each day we have, we have a theme. So like, uh, we just try to make it creative and fun. So like Monday's mask, mask Monday, um, more of an aerobic session. Tuesday is, uh, we, we use the term, or I use the term, I guess, that they now use. Uh, tech is Tuesday, very technical based. So things like that to kind of get them excited. Um, but we also have our values. So we, we have value of the week. So this week we were working on being relentless and we'll kind of reward um, an upperclassman and an underclassman that the team will pick a, kind of somebody that's been relentless to, to embody that value. Uh, but then we've also had three groups of 10. So each group has basically been working towards trying to gain points for their team um, each day. So like a little competition just to kind of keep it fun and, um, you know, less monotonous. So that's been the, the bigger focus on the soccer piece has, has been about that competitive edge. Uh, but really my goals and, and our goals as a staff is, is just been to, you know, we haven't seen them in seven months. So to, to go right into the deep end and just assume that they've been doing what they're supposed to have been doing this summer is uh, a little ridiculous. So we've just been implementing some uh, some training in terms of <clears throat> seeing how their aerobic capacity is, gradually building them up. You know, we've only got an hour, so that time goes by pretty quickly. Um, but twice a week, we've we've implemented something called Earth Gym because we don't have uh, the gym access that we want. Uh, so we've you know bought a bunch of one gallon jugs of water couple random weights uh there's you know a trail system nearby so i haven't made them run into the woods yet and do a bunch of pull-ups on some branches but that could be coming down the pipeline <laughs> um so we've, we've joked about you know the earth gym piece so they do that twice a week an upper body and a lower body and then on a tuesday it's speed day uh xena warrior speed day i think we named it and then you know thursday is like a plyo day so we're really trying to implement building up um you know their their strength their overall aerobic capacity and maybe that's partially because of my strength and conditioning background just you know I know they want a bit more soccer but um, I'm trying to just make sure that we stay healthy and don't run into the issue of, of gaining any injuries too early on um, but also getting them some ideas so that if we ever went into lockdown say next week we can keep going with some of this stuff so it's really trying to train that individual piece because obviously a lot of the soccer is limited um, it's a lot of individual training, a lot of technical training, which we've had a lot of fun with. Um, and so right now, you know, 
the feedback from them has been that it's been fun. Um, you know, they're excited to obviously move into that next phase, which in their minds is a lot of scrimmaging. And in my mind, it's not a lot of scrimmaging. Uh, but again, just just taking our time and, and not getting beyond ourselves is, is really important. That's awesome. Um, what's some of the goals? I mean, obviously, it's tough without any games on the schedule this season. Uh, what are the, some of the team goals that you guys have established that you want to work on? Uh, our number one goal right now is to, to utilize this time to implement some, some mental training. So some uh, pre-practice prep and then some pre-game prep. You know, we're never going to get this time again. Uh, we don't make the seniors participate, of course, unless they want to. You know, some of these skills will be useful for them post-college and even right now in a pandemic. Um, so that's been our, our number one goal. I would say our second goal, and I haven't really um, tried to bombard them with, you know, over zooming. I think some coaches, obviously, we freak out naturally as, as coaches. We want to control every aspect of their being. Um, but I'm cautious that they're obviously on Zoom a lot with classes. So I don't want to be adding, you know, extra team building in here just for the sake of it when, you know, they, they, might, be, they might be Zoomed out at that point. So we talk a lot with them about what they want, what they need. You know, they have their own Zooms going on with, with the different classes. So it's just really trying to maintain as much organic chemistry as we can uh, by, by having them sort of, you know, get to know one another. But every Friday we do mental training. And then probably as we move into phase two or three or whatever it's called, uh, can't keep up. You know, we'll talk a little bit about our, our overarching goal, which is to work on our identity as a team, how we are going to play in the future, which I've personally been working on during this lockdown. Um, so with that, you know, we've had a lot of success in the past, which is great, but how we move forward is really important. And, and sometimes you might have to go backwards to go forward. So I'm aware of that. Um, but once we get going in this next phase, it, it's going to be a lot of implementing some of these strategies geared towards our identity and how we're going to play in the future. Nice. Um, I'll switch gears on you a little bit. Um, you've been heavily involved with the Saints Social Justice Committee. Um, can you tell me a little bit about the committee involvement on campus and what you guys have been working on? Sure. Yeah, I mean, uh, the committee came together uh, right after um, you know, the, the murder, I suppose, of, of George Floyd and, and just the outrage that we all felt as coaches. Um, Mayor McDougall, Bari and I just were chatting. Uh, we chat back and forth, you know, we get along really, really well. Um, and kind of just, you know, with, with Bob, our AD, decided that something needs to be done. A lot of coaches stepped up and, you know, there's many other coaches, obviously, that, that stepped up as well. And we just kind of brought together a few people to represent the department um, and, and started really having conversations with the Black Laurentian Initiative. I mean, you know, a tremendous group of, of students on campus that just came together right after uh, that event and, and we've been working with them, but they've been really helping us and, uh, you know, trying to figure out how we move forward and, and how we really implement actual action, you know, not just the the tokenism things that, that can occur, but really like, how do we keep this moving in the next month, in the next year, and then the year after that. So uh, we have a mission statement finally coming out, uh, which, you know, again, we wanted to put a lot of thought into that and not rush out with just some bland statement, but really put some, some ideas into that. And we have some action points coming out of that that are tied to the Black Laurentian uh, action points and so we're really looking forward to uh, implementing more of that, which has already been occurring. We've had some coach education pieces, uh, and now we're looking to help our student athletes continue to educate and learn. That's awesome. Um, I know the trainings that you guys have been working on have been great. Um, have you gotten any sort of early feedback from those or um, things you're hoping to do in the future? I think the feedback's been good. I I think for some people, and even myself, you know, a lot of this is so new. I think there's a, a lot of fear around stepping into the uncomfortable, but that's something we tell our athletes all the time. And it's, you know, only right that we step into that space as coaches. Um, so the feedback's been really good. You know, it's been slow and it's integrating 
uh, one piece at a time. Uh, but part of it is, you know, part of this work is, is really understanding yourself uh, as a coach, as a human being, um, before you can actually, you know, start to work on, on how to implement your, your student athletes. So for the coaches piece, I think the feedback's been good. A lot of these ideas we could implement even with our own teams. So I think that work has, has been received positively. Uh, and now it's just a matter of continuing to implement some of these action points this semester and the next semester and then evaluating how that went and just learning from the work and the mistakes that we're probably going to make to keep that going year after year. Nice. Um, well, Sinead, that's all I had for you today. Um, thanks so much for joining us. And I really look forward to seeing all that your team accomplishes on campus this season and everything that you guys are able to accomplish with the Social Justice Committee. I think that's going to be great. Um, and I just want to thank everyone for tuning in to this week's episode of the Coaches Corner. Thanks, Megan. Thanks for having me. Take care. No